This was outside of the hotel, so it started raining around like really hard and the wind started blowing really bad around 4 30 in the morning i actually evacuated to orlando and it was so bad at that time that i'm like what is going on there was stuff flying all over the place and it definitely was a little scary but we made it through the roads were actually not bad to drive back home as soon as the hurricane pretty much went through florida thankfully there was no major water damage we did seal everything before we left and we came back to a dry house thankfully i am very glad looks like a lot of the roads are drivable in my area however a lot of the light signals are down they're not working and there was an accident yesterday where someone did not stop at the intersection and unfortunately it was a very bad accident instead of going to the gym i am going to stay home today and have a quick workout here at home so i just wanted to walk you through what i do when i'm going to start with actually a long walk with the best partner ever this little guy patiently waiting for me this entire time so we're gonna put his leash on come here babies so come with us You obviously can see all the damage that happened with the Hurricane Milton in the neighborhood. We're one of the lucky communities, I think, overall, based on you know all of our surroundings. So we're gonna do just a quick home workout. I just want to stay home. I'll conserve gas because a lot of the gas stations are out of gas at the moment. They are bringing some to replenish but they're not here yet. So I don't wanna be stuck without gas somewhere and I'll be able to come back home. We're gonna start with some jumping jacks and we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. rest for 10 seconds and then we're going to do some push-ups so the key here is to get your heart rate elevated for a while and then bring it back down elevate it again bring it back down so do a little bit of a bit of plyometrics oh i'm tired we're gonna do we're gonna try to get 20 push-ups so we'll see if we can get them uh full out feet straight. When you do the push-ups, you want to make sure that the elbows are coming behind you and not straight out this way because that is going to injure your right here about 45 degree angle I would say and then push back up. So that's one, two, Five more to go. Come on, we got this. Whew, five more, five more. <laughs> I'm gonna take about 10 seconds of rest and then we're gonna do some mountain climbers. This, you are feet straight out and you're gonna bring your knee into your chest and alternate knees coming forward. Just like this. What I see a lot of people do with these is that 
they'll bring their foot in like this. Yes, you're still getting a workout out of that, but it's not as effective and as doesn't keep the pace going. You wanna bring the knee in without having the foot touch the ground. You're gonna do 40 of these, but counting only on one leg, okay? So here we go. to do some high knees opposite arm to that knee every time you lift just like this but a lot faster I'm gonna do 30 again counting on one leg only let's do this Rest another 10 seconds and we have one more exercise to do in this in the circuit and then since I do have plenty of stairs here at my house I'm gonna go up and down 15 steps and in between each circuit and then I'm going to rest for a full minute and then repeat this four times for this one we're gonna do some core exercises we want to tuck in the pelvis so our back's nice and flat to the floor. We're going to bring those knees up about 90 degrees. Okay, but when we do that, we don't want to let go of this and just do this, right? We want to be able to engage the core. So tuck in the pelvis and engage the core through the entire movement. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do 20 total. So this is one, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. second rest anyone that has ever laid down on the ground always done any ground exercises to work you want to roll over to your side push up and come up this way especially too if you have had a baby it protects your core from bulging in the center so that's how you always want to get up like this right instead of coming straight completely up now we're gonna go up the stairs once down that will count this one then twice going up and down here we go and that's twice so now we're gonna go ahead and rest for a full minute, grab some water, and then we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process all over again. 
that is tiring. So you definitely are going to feel it in the calves, in your legs, in your core, your shoulders, chest. It's like a little bit of a full body workout, but a little bit more high intensity, a little bit more plyometrics. We've done that already one time. That was a whole circuit once. So we're gonna do all those exercises again for three more times. Resting one minute in between after doing the stairs. If you don't have stairs, that's okay. You can simply run in place or you can do another exercise that you like to do. Another core exercise will be fine. As long as you just get moving. Yeah, we're gonna do that for three more times and that is going to be the workout for the day. I actually left my dog at the groomers. She's actually my neighbor. She has her own grooming thing in her house. So I left them there after our walk. So I should be able to finish the workout completely and go and pick him up. He should be done by then. That concludes the workout for today. I really hope that if you followed along, that you enjoyed the workout, that you gave it all your best and you were able to get something out of it. That is all I am looking for and that is all that I want. Thank you again for watching. Enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you do not miss any of my other upcoming videos. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for everyone who reached out and asked if I was okay and if my family was okay due to the hurricane. So I appreciate it so much. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.